Well, since I said that if the person is going to be asked in his grave, and then if he was good and he answered the question, he's going to go to Jannah. So that person, the question is, he already knows he's going to Jannah. So on the day of judgment, is he going to be questioned again? So what happens is, as you know, like when a person starts his uh, his next life, which is starts from the time the person dies, the per the time the person dies, he already knows if he's from the people of Jannah or people of Nawa, because it's it's the way that angels will treat them. So even the angels who come to take him will be either angels of punishment or angels of mercy. So it, the person will know from on the get on, from the get go, he will know if he's a good person because. His soul will be taken out very lightly. He will be told, it's like someone who's going through an operation. Then he's told, you know, be calm. And then he's given some anesthetics. The pain is, you know, re uh, made easy for him because the soul leaving the body is very painful. It's very, very painful. Even death itself is very painful, as Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said. It's even painful for the Prophet. So it's like an operation. It's the, the hardest operation you're going to be going through. In your in your entire life because your soul is in every single part of your body it's like ripping out uh part of your of your skin like you know you're separating something which has been together so even the soul doesn't want to become detached from the body so for the non-believer it will be like you know putting um thorns into wet cotton that's how it's supposed to feel but Allah makes it easy for the believer, so it's like a cup being poured into uh, water, being poured into a cup, something like that. So the person from the get-go, he would know if he's going, if he's a good person or not a bad person because of how he's received. And then when he's put into his grave, he would notice how his grave is, if it's wide or if it's, you know, he would know he's been a bad person from from how his grave was. But with the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, there would be actually people who after they even, uh, when they get to Allah, Allah would sometimes, sometimes some people would pay for the for the price of the sin that they committed in the grave. When they get to Allah, Allah can forgive them. If they're Muslims, Allah can decide, okay, they've already paid for the price, they were punished in hellfire, in, 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 uh, in the grave. Allah might forgive them. We we'll still question them, but Allah might forgive them. Uh, uh, because they've already tasted some of that punishment. Um, so when they get to when they get to the uh, when they get to stand in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah asks them some other questions and it will be questioned. And Allah can forgive depending on how the person was. Allah can even that person, he might even be going to hellfire. He's destined to go to hellfire after the questioning. Then when he crosses the bridge. He actually falls down into falls into hell, but then with the intercession of the believers of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, he comes out, and then he's taken to paradise. So it's different levels. So people, uh, the true believers who are not going to be punished at all, they will uh, they will know they're going to jannah. But those who are going to be punished in their grave, they still have a chance. When they get there on the day of judgment, they still have a chance, even after they fall into, uh, you know, hellfire. They still uh, have a chance, and it, it, before they enter paradise. So it's a journey. Everybody wants will have faced some of these punishments if he's been a bad person, but you don't want to face one 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 day in hellfire is worse than like, you know, you can imagine one day of hellfire is worse than stepping into a fire one minute in hellfire is worse than being burnt alive in, in fire now the worst punish punishment the worst way to die is like you're dying every second in the grave that's how it will feel so it's a completely different reality that is so painful and also the hell hellfire is like that crossing the bridges like that just the emotions would make them feel uh, feel afraid and feel lose hope and imagine you're being punished in your grave just like Joe or John or Michael or Mary. Well, non-Muslims have been punished in their grave, but you did some good deeds. So you don't want to go through that. So that's why it's good to always repent as well and ask Allah to save you from the punishment of the hellfire. Uh, Allah. So people know where they're going, find that their final, especially the believer knows exactly where he's going, okay, if he's been good, 
As for the one who's been in between or in and out of good and bad, uh, good into good deeds or bad deeds and in between, then he will experience this kind of change of where he's going as well. Because at the end, if you say, La ilaha illallah, will end up in hellfire, inshaAllah.